Finally made it. Bring in Cruz. He's not baby. Thank you. We gonna live. already been a journey all right getting into this hotel room so we are currently at barcelona hilton in downtown barcelona and um we got in about an hour earlier than scheduled so we got in about 6 30 a.m while we were at the airport in barcelona we were waiting for our transportation which never came what i think happened was um they were waiting for multiple flights to get in. So we met a lady who was there waiting for the same transportation and she was waiting for like a few hours prior to us waiting. And so we decided to all go in and just share a taxi and um, come into, to come to the hotel. When we got here, the room wasn't ready. We couldn't do early check-in. So we had to wait until 12 o'clock. So we got to the hotel around 8 30, around 8.45. We got to the hotel around 8.45. We went and had breakfast, which was, y'all, the breakfast was so horrible. Oh my God, it was so horrible. And as you could see from the earlier clips, the earlier video footage, the airplane footage, the airplane food was horrible. It was so bad. So I really didn't eat on the plane, waited for, um, I wanted to wait, you know, to have breakfast, the breakfast buffet at the hotel, y'all. It was so bad. So anyway, um, I'm hoping that once we get on the cruise ship tomorrow, that the food is much better. Just now getting inside the room, it is 1230. They allowed us to check in early. First, they said we couldn't check in until three o'clock three o'clock so we were gonna have to wait how many hours from coming in at 8 45 to three in the afternoon mind you we just got off of a seven eight hour flight from atlanta so we're tired okay we're hungry i'm glad that we flew in a day earlier before getting on the cruise ship before getting on the ship so that we i, I can't even talk i'm hungry and tired I'm glad that we came in a day before getting on the ship so that we can rest, relax, and kind of get over the jet lag so that we can enjoy the cruise the entire time. But this has been like, I feel like we've been here for like two days, okay, with no sleep. That's how I feel. Um, my mom, who is the person we are celebrating, my mom and my dad, they get in later on tonight. So we'll most likely go and have dinner. But right now, me and my sister, we're sharing a room and they gave us one king bed. That's fine. Um, whatever. <laughs> oh, I didn't even mention, I did not even mention that Delta broke my whole wheel off. You guys see that? I'm going to insert a clip. You guys, they broke my wheel. They broke my wheel. It looks like they ripped it off. 
it doesn't even look like the wheel fell off and this is the first time remember i just showed you guys this luggage in the previous haul this is the first time I'm actually traveling with this luggage. So I'm looking at Delta Crazy. I already filed the claim, but I'm also looking at JC Petty Crazy because why is this luggage, why is the wheel able to be snatched off like that? So Delta, um, they said as long as I, they started the claim, as long as I submit pictures um, and to the receipt, because I told them it's brand new, that they'll most likely refund me or just replace it. Mo I'm, I think I want to just get a refund and order a new set of luggage because this ra this luggage is raggedy right now. I'm looking at it real right. It has one peg leg. Like, how am I supposed to roll this heavy suitcase with one peg leg? Anyway. I have to go to the H&M in Barcelona for sure. Gotta go. But stuff that comes easy, and I've tried almost everything, but it just hasn't worked yet. I try not to envy you, to get angry, you do it better. Thinking somebody will see me then No, don't get me wrong Really want everybody to succeed But can we start with me? I'm good, Jacket! Why is it her and not me? Push on my career, design me To not have a style to find me Why is it her and not me? Why was it her and not me? And is gonna blind me Why was it her and not me?
Mediterranean cruise. We are going, we are on Norwegian. The newest ship, it's called Prima. Prima is the newest ship of Norwegian. When I tell you guys, this room is so nice and in comparison to the previous ships that I've been on with Norwegian. But anywho, we left out of Barcelona, Spain. So that's where everyone flew into. It's about 30 of us in total for my mom's 70th birthday. And we, this is technically day two. We are in Valencia, Spain. So we're about to, I feel like, and I showed you guys a clip of our view from the balcony. I feel like we were still moving and it still feels like we're moving, but we're not. Please excuse everything in the background there. We are, we just got dressed. It's me and my sister in the room. Um, we're gonna be spending I like I believe it's like three days in total in Spain three or four days in total in Spain then we're also spending about two days I think in France three days in France and then we're gonna go um gonna be spending like four days in Italy so definitely looking forward to the rest of this trip we're about to go eat some I'm gonna say brunch because it's about 11 o'clock we have not ate breakfast yet um so yeah Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, I got an issue with love. Yeah, I got an issue with trust. Worried that it won't be enough. Oh, 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 yeah. Someone must have made me feel bad. Oh, I wasn't what I had to give. <laughs> So we are day two. We are in the middle of you see that. So we are in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. I hope you guys can hear me clearly because it is pretty loud. The winds are pretty heavy. The water is pretty rough right now. Um, I feel like it was raining a little bit. I'm seeing some like water on the balcony here. But we were supposed to stop in Valencia, Spain. And for some reason, they the boat, um, we couldn't stop. The boat decided not to stop. So we are still at sea. 
but the good thing is we really didn't have any days to be at sea it was a stop every day of this cruise so i literally changed my clothes threw on this t-shirt some sunnies and some leggings and some dunia burk um not dunia burk some doc martens and went downstairs to the casino played a little bit won a little bit of money just a little bit <laughs> and had some drinks had some lunch and called it a day it's gonna be a really chill day We just left out of Zara. We did not get anything. Well, some of us didn't get anything. I didn't get anything because everything that I liked, I already got something similar. <laughs> but the prices are much better here than the US yes. for sure. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, okay, so there's a castle by Abby's. I just yeah, wanted to make sure it was alright. It's a 12 minute walk. Yeah, they be bumping into you. They don't say excuse me. Uh -uh. Let me see if you can grab Okay, I think it's this way, guys. Where? Oh, God. Y'all, we getting lost up in here. Not at all. Yeah. So they say some of these stores are owned by Zara. I like. I can see that. Yeah, that's what they said. They're owned by Zara. Owned by the same company as Zara. Lights out, I'm your favorite. Too many ways, been in your place, that's the layers. Add it up, plus signs, it was on the table. Driving and vibing, bring the beer later. Wanna make it bigger, just a little bit of. Flavor showing up to my space, I'm a fashion dealer. I'm your biggest bitter, meet me in the middle. I just don't wanna settle. Under these lucid dreams, I'm not just a visionary. It's all making sense. Feeling my own inner shot. Just being honest, there's no difference. The mode is so good. I don't want to just feel well. under these lucid dreams. I'm not just a visionary, it's all making sense to me. 
So we're here. This is my sister. This is Miss Janet. Hey. Say hi to YouTube. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Feeling lazy, just be honest, baby. We got different phases, give it all, take it all. I'm just feeling lazy, just be honest, baby. We got different phases, give it all, take it all. My libo got so hanjane, Jungmashinan blue lemonade. Turn pedo of so the kinagi jane. Good morning or good afternoon. So as you guys can see, we are in, we are on day four of this 10 day Mediterranean cruise, although we've been traveling for about five and a half days um, or five, we started traveling five and a half days ago due to the time difference and staying overnight in Barcelona. So we are in Palma de Mallorca, Spain. I apologize if I'm um, pronouncing it incorrectly, but this is our fourth day in Spain. I decided to stay in today and stay on the ship because my social media is just fully depleted. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you already know I am such a homebody. I'm a serious introvert, so my social media runs out really, really quickly on a regular day, okay? So being surrounded by 30 family and friends for four days, five days has fully depleted your girl. So I just decided to stay in the room. I just took a shower. I did have breakfast with my family this morning, but then I came up, they left and explored um, the city or the town. And I decided to come up and just chill and relax and just isolate a little bit. Um, I typically like to come up after dinner anyway, but I've been hanging out I'm just kind of tired. As you guys can see, like, look at how dark my eyes are. I'm just tired. I just want to have some rest. I also, um, ooh, I also did a little bit of editing this morning. I, I plan on editing this vlog, um, while on this trip, as well as, um, on the plane ride going back home. So by the time... I get back to Atlanta, Georgia, the vlog should be fully edited. I don't want to sit on it and I'm not trying to work. It's not like I'm like just spending a whole lot of time working, but I just know how annoying it is to sit on vlogs and a bunch of clips and have to wait and edit it later, especially for a really long trip. So um learned my lesson with Putacana and that wasn't even a long trip, but I just dread that time of just sitting down editing all at once versus doing it little by little. So that's basically what I've been doing. Editing little by little, and hopefully it will be all completed by the time I get home. But anyway, so today, um, you know, the itinerary for this trip, they it's always a lot going on. Um, I probably will leave out of here like around <laughs> early dinner time or something, because I did have breakfast. I had that omelet and I had an omelet with spinach, mushrooms, tomatoes um a little bit of cheese i just started eating mushrooms and i actually like them but that omelet was really good i think they could have i asked him to cook it hard so i'll do that tomorrow because he didn't cook it hard enough for me um but the breakfast has been pretty good the food overall on the ship is excellent it's really really good so definitely great surprise but yeah i just wanted to check in with you guys um you guys see I am in a caftan with my headscarf. Like it is that kind of day. And it is such a beautiful day out here. Um, the weather has been, like today is supposed to be in the 60s. It's, it's been really, really sunny, but it has been windy. So if you were to ever come out um, on this side of the world during early November, you definitely wanna make sure you layer, bring jackets, bring sweaters, and bring t-shirts. You really just need to layer because you can't predict the weather. Um, some areas, the wind you know, is stronger. In some areas, the sun is stronger. So you just have to be prepared. 
Um, I have not been wearing a lot of the clothes that I planned on wearing so far because I haven't been doing a whole full day and night outfit. I've been wearing, getting pretty much wearing the same thing that I wear, you know, I've been wearing one outfit per day. I think one day I did change, but for the most part, it hasn't been the type of vacation where I'm getting fully dressed at night separately from being fully dressed during the daytime. Um, so yeah, then we have some nights, some specialty dinner nights where I will be getting dressed up. So I'm sure I'll be wearing two different outfits per day. But yeah, just wanted to check in with you guys. Hey guys. Hey. Oh my goodness. Let me put this thing down because I feel like we're going to be talking for a while. You guys can see and hear me, okay? It is such a beautiful day here in Cannes or Cannes, France. And I am not able to enjoy it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So as you guys saw... From the previous clips this trip started off amazing like started off amazing and took a turn for the worst for me <laughs> oh my goodness so basically oh it's kind of warm out here so i may take it inside because it is warm but it's so beautiful um basically so prior to me getting on the ship, if you guys are familiar with my channel, you saw a few videos back um, or a video back um, where I did that collective haul that was a fail. You saw that I was under the weather and I was getting over something. And I thought it was the flu, which it, I think it belie I believe it started off as the flu. And then it kind of turned into a sinus infection. And so, at that time, I felt like I was getting better. I just was like congested. Right before coming on the trip, I felt amazing. And I was like thanking God that I was feeling so much better. Like I was feeling so much better. Let me see if I can change. That sun is like right <laughs> in my, okay. Um, so I was feeling so much better. And unfortunately um after a few days i started feeling a little bit sick again like i just started feeling congested in my chest and i felt like oh i'm just coming down with another cold that's how i felt like not that serious i went to guest services yesterday morning um because i started feeling a little bit worse went to guest services to ask them when the pharmacy, cause they usually have a store that sells like over the counter medication. And that's basically what my purpose in going to them for. And they were like, well, that's not gonna open up until later on today. And I knew I was feeling worse. So they were like, you can go to the medical center. Lo and behold, this thing is like a full hospital, okay? <laughs> so I went to the medical center thinking you know, you have to pay a consultation fee and all that. And I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and pay like $150. Because I was like, I need something. You know, I'd be pro you know, something. Alka-Seltzer or whatever. So there, they did a full examination though. And of course, with the symptoms that I had, they wanted to test me for COVID first. And they did the PSP test. If I'm, if I'm mistaken, I'll correct it on the screen. But... They did the more, um, I guess, extensive test that took about 45 minutes to get the results back, not the like little 15 minute test. 
So they performed a COVID test on me first. And then they performed, you know, the, the doctor came in and did, you know, like the routine examination with the stethoscope and had me breathe in and out to test my lungs. And the first thing he said was, you have cracked something. He said, I forgot the term he used, but basically he was saying that I had a lot of mucus built up in my lungs, it sounds like, from the stethoscope. And he said that it sounds like bronchitis and or pneumonia. I was like, no way, cannot be. I've never been a sickly person, never had those things. I said, no way, no way. So, you know, doctors, I'm thinking, oh, he's just preparing for the worst, you know. So they did, before I got in any of my results, they did a breathing therapy for me to be, um, for me to just clear my lungs from the mucus immediately. And they also gave me an IV. They gave me one IV initially. Later on after results, they end up giving me three different IVs with antibiotics. And then I did three different breathing treatments. So that photo that it, that was through, done three times, the photo clip that I inserted and the IV, I had three different IVs in me. So I was in the hospital for a total of three and a half, four hours. So anyway, in the middle of me doing the first breathing treatment, that is when the doctor came in and said he wants to talk to me about all my results. He said, you have bronchitis, you have pneumonia, a slight pneumonia, and you also tested positive for COVID-19. I about died, okay? I just wanted to tell him, how long do I have to live? Because clearly, what? Mind you, I'm on this ship in the middle of the ocean. So not only do I have to stay isolated for the remaining of the, the remainder of the trip, I'm in the middle of the ocean, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. And it, it, it was just uh, crazy, okay? So mind you, I just started a new job a month ago. And uh, it, this is just so convenient, so convenient. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm trying to look at the bright side of things knowing that I finally, because the, the medical team, I must say, they were very thorough. I did not expect to get the type of treatment that I've gotten on a ship. I did not expect the medical office to be as intricate, detailed, and to be basically like a miniature hospital. I did not expect for them to even have the ability to give me breathing treatments, IVs, like that was just something i went in there for some over-the-counter medication think i would be in and out within 10 minutes i mean my mom's birthday was actually on the day i found this out and we had dinner reservations and i'm like i i can't do i have dinner plans i don't have plans to be sick i was in shock it was just such an emotional day for me yesterday it was an emotional day because so many things were coming to mind. I was like, wow, what if I just did not go to the doctor and just continued on and something more serious happened or, you know, um, cause pneumonia is nothing to be played with, even walking pneumonia. Um, you know, I was emotional because I couldn't, I can't enjoy the rest of the trip with my family. And the trip was going so well. I just kept thinking and journaling and praying like, thank you God, this trip is going so well. My mom is so happy. Everybody's in good spirits. We're having an amazing time. I had all these plans. Even We do have a stop in Rome and we're gonna stay overnight in Rome. And that's when I will be out of isolation and off all of my meds. They gave me tons of meds, you guys. It, it's, this is crazy. <laughs> I feel like, I'm, on, I'm in the hospital on a boat, on a ship. Thank God I have this balcony room. We did upgrade last minute and I'm thinking like, what if I didn't have a balcony to even just go and get some fresh air on? I would be 
you know, sometimes you don't know why you do things. And I knew I was really adamant about, my sister didn't care about having a balcony room. I was so adamant about getting a balcony. And I thank God that I did. I was adamant about bringing my laptop, even though I knew I wasn't gonna be sitting on here editing most of the trip or whatever, but I was like, I need to bring my laptop. You just, you know, I wanna just do, you never know when you just want time away from people and just to do your own thing. Thankfully, I brought that. Thankfully, I upgraded my Wi-Fi to have unlimited because they do, it came with a package that we had like 150 minutes or something like that. And so I did upgrade to un unlimited. <clears throat> um, you know, I'm just trying to thank God for the little things and not look at this as just a bad, you know, totally 100% bad, even though it is. <laughs> The food for room service has been so good. I hate the fact that I can't actually have food out in the cities and all the food that is, you know, here on the ship. My family, they'll bring me food. They brought me some cake yesterday for my mom's birthday dinner. But the room service food has been great. So I'll start documenting some more of that. I figured I didn't really document much because I figured I have I have a week. <laughs> And there's not that much on the menu, so I'll be reordering some of the pieces, some of the food that I've already ordered. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to just fill you guys in on what is going on. But this vlog is definitely not normal, not regular vlog, travel vlog. But I really wanted to be, you know, to show you guys what the, my real life is looking like on this trip. So I'm going to show you guys. This is not even something that I shared with people on my other social media platforms honestly youtube is just a more personal and intimate platform for me so you guys will see it first okay and if and if any no one else goes to youtube they won't know because this is not something that i plan on just being loud about you know um because i don't i'm not looking for sympathy you know i'm just really trying to be as transparent as possible when it comes to vlogging um, especially on a trip like this and if it happens to you or if you know someone who may get sick on a trip I just want to show you guys how they how they would handle it and I would definitely say that Norwegian Prima they've you know I have nothing but nurses with me all of most of my aunts are nurses are in the medical field my mom was a nurse for many years and so they've all kind of said like they are thorough especially with all the tests and the x-rays and the breathing treatments and the IV, like they are thorough so and the doctor was on point he he just basically just <clears throat> from the stethoscope he he knew what it was and he was on point with it so definitely fortunate and they've been calling my room the nurse has been calling me every day or like multiple times a day checking up on me as well so you know, I am I am impressed with the staff here. But yeah, I don't want to talk your ears off, guys. I just wanted to come in, let you guys know what was happening. I'll continue to keep you guys updated. And hopefully my sister takes some good, good footage of France as well as Italy tomorrow. They had to take a small boat, mind you, from the port to the city. Um, So they had to take a small boat. So hopefully she captures that. I miss that. <laughs> I'm sad but there will be another opportunity for sure all right guys i'll see you later so they just delivered my medical bill <laughs> y'all <laughs> what mm -hmm. <laughs>
they hold the Khan Film Festival. Protecting my peace for so long, a little too good now I'm so low. Watching reruns of the same shows, almost everybody on my no show. Even with green lights, I don't go. Never been sure, no, I don't know. How does everybody has to let go of the ego? Don't go out nearly as much as I should. Barely know the way around my neighborhood. I'm ruminating, I feel no good. Not living life like I know I could. Like I know I could. Like I know I should. Like I know I could. We have mm -hmm. three different kinds of seashell. This one brown and uh, white. Mm -hmm. This is Cerdone seashell. And uh, Formiola seashell, which is orange and beige. It's, it's a make a came with this seashell. And more than three. Yeah, that's why I said those are pretty. This is a situations you have to go through I think I need therapy now Recycling all the same doubts Heard it a million times Cause I tell myself all the same lies
this um, side. Okay. This side, mom. Okay, so where? Time I think you're gonna walk out of my door I start to jump to the conclusion You don't love me no more Babe, give me some to work with Can you just reassure? Sorry if it's a little cliche I know we're supposed to live in a gray Leave 
leave it to chance or leave it to fate But I'm missing you, you. I'm gonna get this one Hello there. All right, y'all. So I just got back in town, um, got back to the hotel. We are staying at the um, Hoaxton in Rome. And it is a very like, <laughs> it's like a, it's, it's a boutique hotel, but it reminds you it's very European. The elevator is like this big, but it's, it's so cute. And so I wanted to show you guys this room. So today, um, let me show you the room first and i'll tell you about my day so this is when you enter here and then there's like this large mirror my sister's already been here they gave us one bed which is fine um and this is the headboard which is so cute look at the lamps the decor it's very cutesy but what i just noticed look at that coat hanger very cute in the stools um is this old school radio and it was just playing something <laughs> i thought this was too too cute too too cute so um it has like a chair right here and then it has some books here let me see what books they got i don't know but this is a very cute cute um hotel let's look at the bathroom Look at the bathroom. This is the first time I'm opening up the bathroom door, you guys. It's the first time I'm seeing the bathroom. So y'all are seeing it with me. Look at this. This is cute. Really cute. And then, oh my God, the shower is huge. Look at this shower. This is super cute. Make sure it's clean though. Yes, I love the gold accents. It comes with this. This is cute. Love gold hardware. How cute. I don't think I spoke to you guys since I was sick. But anyway, I got better. And basically, everybody in my family got sick, to be honest. They weren't as bad as me, um, but they definitely got sick. My mom is a little under the weather right now. Um, so let's just say that it, things were going around on that cruise, okay? But anyway, let me tell you about my day. So today we arrived um, in Rome this morning from the ship. We um, got off the ship, took a, our transport, um, we took transportation, took a bus to Rome, which was about an hour and a half. Just because of the traffic, we are in the city of Rome. Um, very cute town. I literally just got back into the hotel before I left. Um, we didn't even get into our rooms yet. Our rooms weren't ready. So me and um, most... I'm going to say a, a quarter of our family members stayed the extra night in Rome um, versus just leaving directly from the cruise ship. And, um, oh, I'm just noticing the headboard. Well, no, I noticed the back. Anyway, um, so we left and we went to, gosh, what is it called? The Spanish Steps. I think that's what it's called the spanish step um 
yeah, I think that's what it's called. But we went down um, in the city, like the downtown area, more touristy, a lot of shops. And uh, my family wanted to do some tourist attractions, like get on the the bus that you get on and off. Well, I kind of lagged behind because I really wanted to kind of just chill a little bit. I was not really trying to do a bunch of tourist attractions and then trying to shop. We I knew we didn't have enough time for that. So anyway, I kind of lagged behind and and I don't want to say I got left because I really didn't. I, I honestly wanted to just do my own thing today. So I basically went solo dolo today. I was shopping in Rome and I picked up a few things. I'm going to actually do a haul. You'll see some clips of some of the things that I purchased, but I'm going to do a separate. Should I do a haul? Yeah, I'm going to do a separate haul. Well, actually, no, I'll include it now of some things that I got um and from different shops let me show you guys so the first thing that i purchased they're eating downstairs and i'm not really that hungry because i had a big old pizza prior to our half a pizza so i'll probably eat something a little later but right now i'm chilling and i honestly like after two weeks of being around 25 people I just wanted to do me today. I wanted to shop in peace. I just wanted to do me. Today. So I went to this place called Joella and got this. Uh, Italy is known for their leather goods. Um, so I got this cute crossbody bag and I also purchased the straps. It's such a pretty green and I plan on wearing it like during the springtime. And I bought a strap to go with it but I also it also includes a strap like a regular strap crossbody but I also got this strap as well because I thought this was really pretty I also purchased this which is another crossbody bag um it's olive green here's the strap here but you really get great um great buys when it comes to their leather goods because italy is known for leather i got this for my boyfriend it's this, this wallet this leather wallet and i really love the um navy blue the navy blue accent soft leather really pretty douglas which is a store in europe had a 30 percent off sale so i got Prada and I also purchased Miss Dior so I got these two so some t-shirts for me my boyfriend my grandmother so I got that one I got this one. I love the navy blue. Is this black or navy blue? I don't know, but I love the colors. This one for my grandmother. And then I got another. Another one of these. Two cute. And I also purchased two shot glasses because that's something that I always do when I go away. I like to purchase a shot glass everywhere I go. I did not do it this trip, but since I remembered <laughs> on the last stop, which is Rome, I got two Rome shot glasses. So yeah, guys, I am about to kind of repack because I was really rushing Um Let me see if I can. Okay. Oh, I'm tired. I'm so tired. I normally don't sit on beds in my outside clothes, but I'm going to have to make an exception today. But yeah, um, I am so tired, but I'm glad that I got a chance to just do what I want without having to take anybody else's, um, what anybody else wants into consideration. And I just kind of ventured off today. 
Um, I, it was hard for me to find a taxi. Uh, it was really, really hard to get a taxi in Rome. Even where the taxi like pickup line is, it's kind of hard. So what I did was, it was dark. <laughs> I went into another random hotel. I think it's called the Style Hotel. And the member, the staff at the concierge at the desk was so nice. I didn't even, I don't know if he knew, if he thought I was a guest or what, but I asked him, I said, what is the quickest way I can get a taxi? And he was like, you can, um, he was like, I'll call one for you, you know, and I'll let you know how long he called one and it, he was on hold for at least 10 minutes. But after he booked the taxi, they came right away. It was 10, 10 euros to go from the downtown area, shopping area, back to my hotel, which is um, Hoaxton, Hotel Hoaxton, or the Hoaxton Hotel in Rome. So that is it, you guys. Thank you, guys. Um, so yeah, that concludes this vlog. Thank you guys so much. Y'all so, saw this was, a, this was a crazy trip. I feel like... <laughs> between getting my baggage damaged oh and by the way delta did respond and um they're replacing my bag so they sent me a link to their partner website i haven't opened it up yet so i don't know what my options are but i'm gonna select one of their bags that is it that concludes this vlog thank you guys so much for coming along this journey with me if you enjoy the content please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and also follow me on Instagram. I always put my handle um, in the corner of the video screen at, sh at Shireen underscore H. So we are leaving tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Up and leave. Take a lot of courage just to live out your dream. A picture I could see if I just close my eyes Have the foresight to believe Time don't move backwards, it's